Hi there, everyone. It's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. I'm going to talk about something I forgot to mention yesterday. When I was with my daughter, and we were going shopping, and we went to the bank, and she, when we came out of the bank, she says, oh, going to the, the well care place. We have a well care place now. Um, I think that's what it's called, well care. Something, yeah. like, Something that. like that. It's where instead of having to go to the emergency room, you can go to this place and they will take like you urgent, in. Urgent care. Urgent type. care. Like, yeah, that's what it is. Well, anyway, she said, it's what a fiasco. And I says, why? And she says, well, first of all, when you get there, the door is opened, but they want you to scan this code with your phone and... It's like, oh, good grief. I'll never go there because I don't even have a phone. So um, she kind of opened the door and she said, I'm not signed in, but how, what do I have to do? And she says, oh, you get, you have an iPhone? Scan the code. So she goes, oh, okay. And she goes back into her car and Googles how to scan a code <laughs> because she had never scanned a code before. And then it brings her to some spot where she had to fill in information and once the information was filled in then she could go in and the reason she had to go there was because she's got a beauty shop she doesn't know whether it was a regulation or a recommendation she's not sure about getting the the blue booger um screening i think it was just a recommendation recommendation well she went in and she got the one where they just, they put the thing up your nose and go into your sinus cavities. And um, she was talking to somebody else of health and she said it, it was not pleasant. She says it's way better than the other one though. And I says, what other one? And she said, well, they have another one where they actually take the suave and they go like they're way back into your back of your throat, but they go through your nose to get there. And the girl that she was talking to had had it done and um, just she was just recovering from the first nostril and they said okay we're ready to do the next one and she was like what and so Jessica was lucky that they, she they had she had actually the she said it wasn't pleasant but it was the easier one and so she had it done and she she came back negative of course but anyways I thought it would be interesting I guess I won't be going to the urgent care or the wellness care or the whatever center because I first of all somebody would have to come out and take my information because I can't scan it and I can't fill it out online or anything so they're just gonna have to do that and so what is it you know it's crazy because the world is like going all technology technical or to the technology or whatever I don't know what <laughs> you would say it but they're all going that direction and I'm not ready for that direction and I'm sure there's a lot of older people than me that are not ready for that. Although there are some older people that are really technical. But there's a lot of them that don't. Now, my parents never even had a checking account until I insisted they get a checking account. Because I was having to pay their bills and it was easier for me to send a check. Because if they paid in person, in cash, they were charged an extra dollar. Which is ridiculous. Because, you know, the cash is real, but the check could bounce, but they wanted it that way. So that's what, that was about the urgent care place. Okay, now I'm going to put a little video in. I did a little video again. This one is on, you're going to get to see me do a little laundry, but I only show, I don't really show you me doing, doing it because that's kind of, you all know how to do laundry. But I just give you a few of the tips of what I do when I am doing laundry. And then I show you again because I was getting a little bit snacky. And when I start, I wasn't really hungry, but I like to snack on something. And people that chew gum probably understand this, but I don't chew gum. Um, and I just wanted a little something, so I made my chicken dish again so I will show a little video of that and if you're interested I say in the video if you're interested in this you can look up the video that shows how to do it I don't know how to put end cards in or little things that say go up here or go up here or whatever I don't know how to do that 
so it's not there yet but well anyways that you'll see um, I have people that comment and I'm glad I have people that comment but I have actually two people that I want to kind of highlight because they always ask me some really good questions now yesterday I forgot who this person was but today I don't forget I won't forget I told her I'd never do that again which I would never do that again and it was Gloria Lagoon remember yesterday I was looking for Gloria in my mind and couldn't remember who she was well I know who she is she asks a lot of good questions and the other person person that asks a lot of good questions is Jane Patrick they're always asking me questions that are really actually very good it gives me something to talk about and I also have somebody that comments and their comments remind me of soap operas you know how um, that will like um, Paul Harvey will tell you the rest of the story well my chickens are like a uh, soapbox and the person that does that is Emmy and that's just the name Emmy okay now um when people say not none none none, none of, of it, it none of it when they say none of it what do you think of do you think that there's none of it or none of it like the province in Canada when I hear none of it I think of the province in Canada um, let's see what else today I brought my notebook in again that's why I, I'm looking because I, I would forget these things and I, I make notes as I do it and then my notes makes good sense when you write it but not good sense when you read it is what I wrote <laughs> Yes, sometimes my notes don't make good sense. In fact, I had um, up there when I was going to put the video. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot to put the video in. Oh, my stars. Did I leave a spot? No. You said ah. that you, you talked about it, but didn't leave a spot. Well, let's put it in right here. Today is the day I wash some of my red shirts. I have lots of red shirts. Have you noticed? I'm sure you've noticed, but this is this is my my lot. I've got I don't know how many I bring bring them down on the hangers because they're going to go back up on the hangers. But this, today is the day I wash my shirts. This is the one I wore yesterday. I think it was yesterday I wore this one. But yeah, um, this is what I do. I wash all the reds today. Today we wash shirts. Welcome to my world. Here's my reds. I do one whole load of just red clothes. Now you get to see the inside of my dryer. Aren't you just so lucky today? This is the load of red. It's going to be tumbled dry now. My dryer is still running, but we're going to stop it. And we're going to test to see if these are dry. And they're dry. So what you want to do now is you want to take them out. Okay, to save yourself time and energy, and so you don't have to ever iron, you just take all your shirts out and you lay them out onto the washer that's right next to your dryer, most likely. And this is what I do. See, all the shirts are there. Then you take your hangers and you put them in so that then you hang them up. I've got half the shirts on the hanger, so now I'm going to hang them up. That half is hanging. Now I'm going to do the other half. And see, here's the other half. has to be done. There's quite a few here. Put the next shirt on this hanger. I want to show you. I made this hanger, oh gosh, 40 years ago. This was part of um, the shower gifts that we made for to give away. When I was getting married, you made your shower gifts. You didn't go to the store and buy things. You actually made them. And so this was a wooden hanger that I crocheted around. And I love it because the shirts that go on it have to not fall off and it keep the yarn keeps them from falling off. 
So I can show you how to do this if you'd like to know. Just let me know if, in the comments if you'd like to know how to do a hanger just like this hanger. Second batch is on the hangers. Now I'm going to hang these up. And there you go. The job is just about done. All I have to do now is bring these up to my closet, put the long sleeves together, put the short sleeves together, and I am good to go. I forgot to tell you, don't forget to remove the lint. I was getting a little hungry, so I decided to make my chicken snack. So that's what I'm going to have, and Jim will have it when he gets home. And it's really good. If I knew how to put end cards in or cards in that say, check out this video and learn how to make it, I could do that, but I don't know how to do it. So, But it, there is a video that shows how to make this. I think it's the thumbnail. I'm not even sure if it's the thumbnail of the picture. I have no idea. But if you'd like to make it, there is a video that shows how. Well, there's the video finally. <laughs> <laughs> well, when I was looking at my notebook that I wrote down, I write maybe one word or two words or something, because at the time I write it, it makes really good sense. But after when I go to read it, it's like, what did I, what was I saying there? Why did I write just that? Because like I wrote um, videos and then I wrote laundry, which I remembered laundry. Okay, I know you're going to see laundry. Then I wrote chicken and I said, why did I write chicken? I just wrote chicken. And I'm thinking, what the heck? And I said to Jim, what did I write chicken for? He goes, I don't know what you wrote chicken for. How do I know? <laughs> I know. You weren't here. You weren't in my brain. And you weren't even here when I, when I wrote it. And then I had to write above that my snack chicken dish. And this way I knew what I was going to talk about. So that's why my notes, I write them pretty good. But they don't make sense when I go to read them. So, and I print most everything. Every, In fact, I will show you. I print. See, I print. I hope I spelled everything right. <laughs> <laughs> That's another thing I don't do. I just kind of write it so that I, I, um, I know what it says. <laughs> but it may not spe be spelled right. I don't know if there's any, um, I don't know. You will probably pause it. Now you're going to look. Oh, no. You're going to know if I'm a good speller or a bad speller. I'll have you know I'm a bad speller. In fact, thank goodness for spell check on the programs when I'm typing because it'll underline it. I don't know if it does it for you or not The when you're answering comments. It will. Um, and I, I know they're misspelled because I misspelled it. And sometimes I can't even find the spelling if I'm on the iPad. So I'll say it verbally and hope that the thing understands me and can find it so um but i'm a real bad speller and i don't know if this is true or not but it was we were told this when i was um oh i was told this a long time ago that if you're not allowed to crawl it will affect your spelling and i think it would affect I think it was the math, math too, too. Huh? i think so and I wasn't allowed to crawl. And the reason I wasn't allowed to crawl is I was born in the spring. And by the time I would have crawled, the floors would have been very cold. So every time we tried to call, crawl, my mother would kind of stand us up so that we wouldn't be um, on that cold floor with our hands and knees because it was cold. And we lived in a cement block house and the floors were like ice it's like my back room where the blue floor is, where my laundry room is. It's like you walk in there in the winter and you feel like you're walking on snow. It's so cold, but it's just the way it is. And my parents' house felt the same way, and she didn't want her babies to crawl on it. So all of us that were born in the spring are terrible spellers. Terrible. And the ones that were born in the fall or winter are excellent spellers and so I don't know if it's true or not but anyways that's my video for today well, Michael well, Michael never wanted to crawl and he didn't he want doesn't to he doesn't spell, spell. Really Jessica crawled everywhere and she can spell real good um, Laura can spell real good Emily's a very good speller in yeah. fact Emily's very good at everything other, other than math. She's math. Well, she did pre-calculus. So she, does, she does better. She, she's good. She, you know, I couldn't do pre-calculus. Could you do pre-calculus? Calculus. I can't even. Calculus. I can't. 
<laughs> you would say it, let alone do it. So, yeah, she, she, when she went to the doctor, because Emily's got Turner's syndrome. I don't know if you know what Turner's is, but anyway, she has it. And he says that it says you have trouble with math. And she goes, yeah, I do. I said, Emily, tell him what kind of math you're doing. And she said, I'm doing pre-calc. Cal calculus. Calculus. <laughs> <laughs> and he says, well, I can't do that either. So, you know, it's not a problem. And they, they were talking about basic adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing is what they think of when they say you have trouble with math. She just doesn't have, she doesn't have um, good um, spatial, whatever, recognition. Because like when we were driving in the car, we actually had to get her a driver to teach her because nobody wanted to ride with her. It was We took her out, but it was so dangerous and so scary, we decided we better just hire somebody to take her out. So the person came from Buffalo down here to us, which is a long ride, and she would practice in their car for an hour, and then they'd bring her back home. And when she went to take her test, they actually came and took her for her test, but she failed. So then, she, and she was only allowed, was she allowed one test with them or two? I don't remember. Uh, I think she was allowed, she two. allowed two. And she took another test and she failed again. So that was the end of that. And so then we took her and she passed. Thank goodness she passed the third time. And she used um, a different car. She used a, a little bit smaller car. So that might have made the difference. I don't know. She drives a real little small car. She drives a Spark. So they're tiny, and she's tiny. She she's actually, well, she's taller than she used to be. She used to be four foot seven, and then she went on growth hormones. She chose to go on them when she was like seventeen, I think it was, mm -hmm. and um, she grew up to be grew to be four foot nine and a little bit. I think she would tell me. And I'm five feet, so she's she's still shorter than me, but she's the only one that's shorter than me. The rest of the girls are taller. So mm. now that's the end of my video. <laughs> so I'll talk to you all again tomorrow. I'll talk to you then. Bye.